Hey there students and a pleasant welcome to ITTV. And my name is Mr. Joel, your tutor for Mathematics Form 4. Alright students, today we will continue with lesson 4 of chapter 2, Quadratic Expressions and Equations. Factorization of AX squared plus BX plus C where A is not zero, B and C are constants. All right now, the first case, if B and C is equals to zero, no factorization is required. This means that if the constant B and C in the general form of a quadratic expression is zero, then the quadratic expression is already factorized in its simple form. In case two, if b equals to zero, then ax squared plus c. All right, if the constant b is zero, what is left of your quadratic expression is just ax squared plus c. And in case three, if c is 0, then ax squared plus bx. So what are we seeing in these three cases here? When a quadratic expression has a general form of ax squared plus bx plus c, depending on these three cases, case 1, case 2, and case 3, we can actually obtain three types of quadratic expressions. And in our previous lesson, we have learned how to factorize this three cases. All right, then don't forget, for these three cases that we have learned to factorize previously, all right, factorization of case four. If B is not zero and C is not zero, then the factorization is by the table method or cross method. All right, students, in today's lesson, we will specifically learn how to factorize a quadratic expression where the whole quadratic expression is full. AX squared plus BX plus C, where B and C are non-zero. So now you have the full quadratic expression, so as opposed to the last three cases where either B or C is zero. All right, how do we factorize quadratic expressions in case four? We use the table, or you can also call it the cross method. Alright, actually there are two cases for factorization of case 4. Let's look at case 1. In case 1, A equals to 1. For example, factorize x squared minus x minus 6. What does it mean? So when we have the full quadratic expression here, and if the constant a, which is in front of x squared, is equals to 1, we use the first case method. And there are a few steps, all right, for the table method. Eh? All right, for step 1, we'll go through this later on the board. Draw two lines, okay? Step 2, rewrite x squared and c as a product of two terms. In step three, apply the cross method. In step four, double check the product and the sum accordingly. And in step five, which is the last step, rewrite the quadratic expression in the factor form. So remember guys, what are you trying to do? We are still trying to factorize a quadratic expression in case 4, which is the full quadratic expression, all right, into a product of two parts, two linear algebraic expression. So keep in mind these five steps even as you attempt to factorize the quadratic expression. All right, our first example that has been stated, All right, factorize this quadratic expression, okay? So in x squared 
minus x minus 6. Alright, this belongs to case 1. Alright, as you can see the difference between this case and the previous three cases, this quality expression is in its fullest form, where there is a a x square plus bx plus c. So how do we factorize? Remember, you can use the table or the cross method. Alright, remember the five steps. Alright, first of all, draw two lines. And how do you draw these two lines? Not simply any two lines. Yeah? Draw two lines such as this. Okay, one line on the horizontal and one line on the vertical part. In the next step, rewrite x square so look at here this is x square with constant a as one so it is x square rewrite this and six which is the c inside the lines okay as a product of two terms the easy way to remember is x square what times what gives you x square x times x we rewrite it x by x okay rewrite it here in the first column next rewrite c as a product of two parts okay and now you must think what times what gives you six okay you can have three by two or six by one so you must choose one okay and i will choose three by two so remember first step the two lines second step Rewrite x square as the product, okay, and you get x square by x by x, and 6 as a product of 3 and 2. Alright, our third step involves using the cross method. And what do I mean by cross method? Because we need to multiply by crossing diagonal. So x multiplied by 3 will give you 3x. So you cross x and 3 and you also cross x and 2. So x times 2 is 2x. Alright, now our next step is to check the product and the sum. Now, if you have a 3x and a 2x here, how are you going to put the sign, whether positive or negative, such that you will obtain minus x okay so in order to get minus x you must put a minus here and a plus once this happens minus 3x plus 2x gives you minus x next shift the sign and put it over here minus and plus Okay, so double check the product now of this two. Minus three multiplied by positive two. Uh, these signs come from here, they are the same. So you will get negative six. So now, steps. Once you have crossed, the sum of these two must give you the middle term of the quality expression. And the product of these two should give you the same number, term, and with the sign. Once this is double check, step five is to rewrite the whole quality expression as the product of its factors. And the factors are x minus 3, x plus. So we rewrite the factors. This quality expression can be written as x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. So remember, one quality expression, two linear expression. That is the meaning of factorization. Alright, our next example. Factorize completely each of the following quadratic expressions. All right, number one, y square plus 3y plus 2. And number two, 
m square minus 8m minus 9. All right, we are going to proceed on the board. All right, guys, this is a similar example to the earlier one. Remember, we want to factorize both these expressions. All right, I'll start with expression one. Huh? So just look at this expression, y square plus 3y plus 2. How are we going to break it up into the two linear expressions? Remember the five steps. Okay, the first one, draw two lines, one horizontal, one vertical. Okay, next, look at y square and look at 2 because these are the only two terms that you need to put inside this column. First of all, y square. What times what gives you y square? y times y. So there's only one possible outcome, y times y. And then, look at 2. What times what will give you 2? And there is also only one possible outcome because only 2 times 1 will give you 2. So the 2 is here and the 1. Okay, so arrange it and arrange the product of y square and 2. All right, the next step, which is step 3, is to apply the cross method. Cross and cross. Okay, and when you cross, y multiplied by 2 gives you 2y. y multiplied by 1 gives you only 1y. Okay, remember you don't have to put any sign yet, eh? positive or negative, until this step. How to determine the sign? Remember, the sign comes from checking this part here. How do you sum up this part or subtract this part such that you will get positive 3y? And there's only one answer. In order to get positive 3y from 2y and y, both must be positive. Then only they will add up to positive 3y. So remember, the sum of the numbers here in this column must give you the middle term of the quadratic expression. That is the first check. All right, there is still one more check to go. That is move on back to here, the second column. All right, and transfer the sign. Put it there so that you can see. And now the product of these two terms, uh, which is positive 2 multiplied by positive 1. What is it? You will get a positive 2. And is it this term? Yes. Okay, so first double check should give you here from the sum. The second check will give you the product, which is here. Once both of them looks as the term in the quality expression, you have managed to identify the two linear expressions and they are bracket so that you may see them this expression is factorized to y plus 2 and y plus 1 all right come let's get familiar with more examples yeah let's look at example 2 factorize this expression so Remember the five steps. As long as you see a full quadratic expression, you need to use the five-step method eh? because it is case four. None of B or C is zero. So now, how do we get the two linear expressions? First, draw the two lines. All right, and then step two, get M squared. The first and the third term. What is the product of m square? m times m. There is only one possible outcome. And what is the product of 9? Alright, there are two situations. You can use 3 times 3 or 9 times 1, but only one combination is possible and will be accepted. Not all. If you chose the wrong combination, retry it again. This is a trial and improvement method. So the correct combination is 9 times 1. Remember, 9 is 9 times 
one. Why? Because if we cross both of the pairs now, m times one gives you one m. m times nine gives you gives you nine m. Now put the signs. The signs will put and determine the expressions. How are we going to obtain negative eight m from nine m and m? You must choose the right sign. Eh? In order to get a negative eight m, negative must be put here and positive must be put here. Okay. So look and how are you going to put the sign depending on the middle. Once this happens, negative 9m plus 8m gives you negative 8m. And that is right. But we must check whether the signs that we put is correct or not. And in order to do that, we double check with the terms in the second column. So if negative and positive follow, negative and positive. Now just look at these two. Negative 9 times positive 1. Will you get negative 9? Yes, you will. So since both these criteria have been fulfilled, therefore, we have successfully managed to identify the two linear expressions. And they are m minus 9 and m plus 1. So in both these cases, what we have done is by using the five-step method to factorize a quadratic expression all right, in the full form where a, the constant, in front of the variable of x square or y square is 1. All right, now, more exercises. Factorize completely each of the following quadratic expressions. All right, number one t square plus 8t plus 15 and number 2 u square plus 6u minus 16 all right let's do this together all right guys look carefully number one check is this a full quality expression yes t square plus 8t plus 15 is a full quadratic expression okay so now we have to use the methods for case 4 Remember the five steps. Eh? First, draw two lines. Okay. Now, look at the first and the third term only. What times what will give you t square? There's only one combination. All right. And it's t multiplied by t. So write them down nicely, neatly in the first column. All right. Remember, don't do any sign first. Just take. The number by itself and same with 15 okay don't look at the positive first 15 what factor can you make it yes you can use 3 times 5 or 15 times 1 but over time even as you practice you will know which combination to use and the right combination in this case is 5 by 3 okay next is the cross method where you have to cross uh, t cross up to 5 5t five and the second cross t by 3 multiply 3t three the reason why we cross and multiply them at this stage is so that we can put in the right sign now remember the sign of positive negative only comes at this stage yeah? so now how are we going to adjust the sign such that we will get positive 8t from 5t and 3t where to put positive and positive that is the only way to get a positive 8t all right remember but it is not certain until you check again now how to double check transfer the sign they are the same sign and put them here the product now of these two terms should give you positive 15 okay yes positive 5 times positive 3 gives you positive 15 
Once you do that, you are sure that your two linear expressions are t plus 5 and t plus 3. And don't forget, rewrite and the two in the factor form. So the two factors from the quadratic expression is 3 plus 5 t plus 3 and remember you can always check whether you have factorized correctly or not by multiplying and expanding remember that expansion is always the opposite of factorization once you expand and simplify will you get the original quadratic expression so check your answer to determine it all right all right and number two factorize u square plus 6u minus 16 Okay, now this is the same type. Remember, we are just looking at case one today. Factorize it into its two linear expressions. Okay, so you have to draw the two lines. Okay, and then now look at the first term and the third term only. Okay, u square is the product of u multiplied by u. Only one outcome. Okay, and 16 is the result of 8 times 2. Choose the right combination. Although 4 times 4 is possible, later you find out if you use 4 times 4, you will not be able to get the sum and product to match the terms in the quadratic expression. So if you can't get it the first time, don't worry and don't panic. All right? Try and use another combination, especially for the term here. Okay, so in order to get 16, we use 8 by 2. And then the cross method, u multiplied by 8 gives you 8u, and u multiplied by 2 gives you 2u. And then the sign comes in now by checking the sum in this part and the product. How are we going to get positive 6u from 8u and 2u? It must be positive 8 minus 2. Then only you will get the positive 6u. Okay, double check. Transfer the signs over here. Does positive 8 multiplied by negative 2 gives you negative 16? Yes, spot on. Alright, so this makes your two expressions as u plus 8 and u minus 2. And therefore, rewrite the expression. This whole expression can be written as u plus 8 and u minus 2. And this is the factorized form. All right, let's look at our quick test. Factorize completely each of the following quadratic expressions. Okay? In number 1, v square minus v minus 12 and 2 w square minus 8w plus 16. All right, now you have some time to factorize it. Remember the five steps. All right, I'm sure you have your solutions with you. Okay, can you check them? For question one, the factors are v plus 3 and v minus 4. And for question two, it is w minus 4, w minus 4, or w minus 4 square. Alright students, what have we learned today? Alright, we have learned how to factorize quadratic expression in case 4. And how do you identify case 4 from the earlier three cases? It is simply when you have the quadratic expression in its fullest form, ax squared plus bx plus c. And in order to determine the factors, apply the five steps. Apply the five steps and double check. All right, then you will be able to identify the two linear algebraic expressions from your quadratic expressions. All right, class, we have come to a conclusion for today's lesson. All right, remember guys, practice hard and you'll get better. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.